are back here at Real Art Tacoma with Sue the Fish. All right, guys, straight. I got. I got to know. I have to know. Where did the band name come from? Uh, my brother came up with it. Just like off the top of his head, or well, something. We were. We were like. I don't know what we were talking about, but he. He said like Sue the Fish, and I thought. I thought it was funny. I thought it was a good band name. Yeah. I like it. It's one of those ones that it, I mean. I might not be the first person to ask the question, but I know I won't be the last person to ask the question about the band. But it's also a band name that grabs your attention. There's a lot of those out there, so that's really exciting. Yeah, because it's weird. You don't yeah. you don't see something like that every day. Right, exactly. It's like, why would you sue fish? It brings up a lot of questions. Mm-hmm. Is the whole thing that comes down to it. Uh, this has been now. Is this all? Is this your first year doing Live It Out Loud for all you girls? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. That's got to be. Yeah. It, it's got to be a little bit exciting just to be able to come and do this. How have? How has it been for you guys? guys was it nervous at the beginning like or and how do you feel at this point i mean i was nervous I just, to see who i'd be placed with because i was like what if i get placed with someone who's like annoying or something <laughs> <laughs> but no, me, me. <laughs> no. no it was yeah it was cool i'm really happy with the people i got placed with it, was, it ended up being really great so yeah. yeah it's really fun a lot of the people here are really cool yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. especially really these people fun. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. i mean well, of course and I mean, at this point with like Live It Out Loud, you're going through this kind of intense sort of boot camp when it comes down to it. You're doing, you're learning about the industry and you're doing it, you're going out there and performing shows and you don't necessarily know who you're going to be um, put together with. So having to come together like that can be stressful. But again, at that point, the end goal is to do all of these performances and how have those performances been? Because we are leading up to the big show. Oh yeah, they've been great. Yeah. They have really been good. great. Yeah, um, they've been really so good. fun. The one, the last one we did, uh, I got on stage and it was time for me to sing. Like, and I was like, I know, I know, I have to sing, but I don't know what I'm gonna sing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just came to you. oh yeah, I remember that. Uh, yeah, that was, yeah. Funny. That was funny. Yeah, I mean, it ended up going really great though. So. Yeah. Yeah. And part of the Live It Out Loud experience is making your own original song. How has that? Um, how has that collaborative experience been for you? Um, it was pretty, I mean, it was pretty easy. We kind of just came up with something one day and then Natalie just was like, she came in one day and was like, I have lyrics. So then we kind of just used that. Yeah. It went pretty fast. That's we amazing. Came, yeah. We came up with it. Pretty fast. Yeah. Do you yeah, guys have just, like musical influences that vibe or was it just like, oh, this is just working so well together? Um, well, some of them do. Yes. Yeah, some, some of them some do. Of not, all, not all of them. Not, yeah, all, not all, all of them. All. Like Definitely. I listened to like. So I sometimes I listen to like straight up death metal. <laughs> yeah. So is there going to be any growling on these tracks? Uh, actually. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> so what are some of your influences then? Um, well, I know I'm really influenced by Foo Fighters and Arctic Monkeys. I mean, we have our like specific influences. Yeah. We don't usually like, we don't usually take them all and combine them into like a song or something, but we have people who specifically influence us. Like, yeah. Yeah. I know Dave Grohl as like a person, as a musician, is really and very he, influential to me. I mean, he plays so many different instruments yeah. when he's going down to it, but he also plays it with the, just the passion. Like, you can yeah. hear it, and then obviously on stage you can see that. So yeah, that's a can good person to be influenced by. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah. What about you? My influences? <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, definitely. I, I have a lot, um, but basically anywhere from Blink-182... Um, to Cannibal Corpse. Wow. Like, okay. So it's very. I feel like a it's lot a of the, wide like the range. Nineties, two thousands vibe. Yeah. Like the high energy. Yeah. No matter and what, I mean, it's high energy. Blink one eighty two is the reason I started playing bass. So really, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I did not know that. That's yeah, I wanted to be like Mark Hoppus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some of your other influences? Oh, Dave Grohl. <laughs> Dave nice. Grohl, and like everything he does, like Foo Fighters, Nirvana. Um, and then Roger Taylor, drummer of Queen, mm-hmm. and Taylor Hawkins, definitely. And is it is it uh, with all of these drummers? Or is it is it just what they put out there? Like what really drew you to even just the instruments of drumming? Because that's that's kind of that's a high it's like a high energy uh, yeah. instrument to play too. Well, I mean, for me, I I I think they chose me to be honest. That's <laughs> what I'm feeling like. It's just like I just feel like I'm drawn to them. And then when I play them, it's just so fun. It's so fun. And it just makes me really happy. And um, I just love all those drummers because of their stage presence. It's just, like, so, like, exciting. And it just makes you want to, like, watch them. They're really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And it's hard sometimes, too, especially being the drummer. You're in the back. You will be like, notice me, and you got to yeah. throw it out there. <laughs> make it happen. Yeah. And Cora doesn't even really have to do that. Her, she When she drums, her hair just goes yeah. everywhere. And it's, oh. like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, no. She, yeah. yeah. It's like <laughs> animal in the back there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like uh, like a lot of metal and grunge. Like, um, Soundgarden is my favorite band. Metallica got me to start playing guitar. Uh, a lot of the Chris Cornell, like a, like any band he's in, mm-hmm. got me to start singing. Um, and uh, Pearl Jam, uh, Tool, Tool, of course. Um, <laughs> Alice in Chains, just all a lot of that stuff. A lot of, lot of good vocalists when it comes down to all of that. Oh, I yeah. love all of those, yeah. Now, having, this is going to be, you're almost done with your first year of doing this. Very exciting. The big show is going to be happening. What advice would you give to anybody who wanted to be in a band or to be a part of Live It Out Loud and get placed into the bands? I mean, just just uh, be a team player, I guess. It really, you can't just have one person like making every decision. Or I mean, I, I guess you could, but <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't, but it's not that wouldn't be as fun then for Then you're just kind of else. like a worker there. You're not yeah, even a collaborator. Yeah, exactly. It's not like a band is a team effort and yeah. everyone's putting in their... I don't want to say effort again because I just said that, but <laughs> everyone's, yeah, everyone has their own suggestions and stuff and, and you should listen to that. You also, you have to be open-minded to the fact that there yeah. might be some, what's the word? Things that you don't like. Things that you don't <laughs> like and also some like, there might, you might get placed in a band with some people you disagree with mm-hmm. or, but you still have to find a way to make that band work and, you know. I feel I mean, like I'm not making any sense. Well, no, <laughs> no, no, I know you're sense. totally vibing. I get what you're saying because it's about compromise to yeah. a, to, a, to an That's aspect of That's what being in it. a band is. And it's like every every chef has their team that they have to put yeah. together. So even if you are, say you are the front person or the person that wants to take the lead, everyone has their place to do stuff. But especially with the band, you want to make sure and everyone gets to put in their parts and it sounds like you guys have been doing pretty good at this sounds like you like each other so mm-hmm. yeah yeah wait we do <laughs> no i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking oh, oh here we if go you, if you play in a band i feel like you gotta like the people you're playing with because yeah. you're making music with them mm-hmm. and exactly but also really but also sometimes the experience. um if you get placed in a band with people you dislike then that can also help fuel the music you mm-hmm. put that yeah, negative yeah. energy into Write the music. Write songs yeah. about them. Like, yeah, please, and then yeah. make them <laughs> sing it. Write songs about other people. Low-key, not that you like, did it. Is this song about me? No, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love it. I'm really excited to be able to see Sue the Fish when we play. When you guys play live at McMinimins. Very excited to see that stage presence, that energy. People definitely need to check you out, and uh, I'm really excited. Thank you guys for spending a little yeah, time with me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.